today i am going to teach you how to implement threading in ios uh, with swift language so how do you implement threading in um, any other programming language so if you are familiar with other programming languages you need to uh, create thread uh, assign tasks to that thread and then you need to kill destroy something so i also don't know very much about that but in ios so there is no something so you should not worry about creating destroying threads so you just need to create a queue you need to assign tasks to the queue you need to tell whether the queue is serial or concurrent queue and then the process you are trying to add in that queue should be synchronous or asynchronous so what is serial and concurrent queue so serial queue means the tasks are added in the order basis so are executed in the same order they are added in the queue but in the concurrent queue so it is not guaranteed that tasks are added in the same order they are added in the queue so i will illustrate this with an example and what what do you mean by asynchronous and synchronous usually synchronous means the it tries to sync with the with its own own system so it uh, it so in in a synchronous process it does not try it does not move to the next task until it completes its own and then tries to synchronize with the whole system but in asyn asynchronous process it does not try it does not wait until the task completes so it does not uh, it does not thinks about whether the task has been completed or not so i will so i will illustrate this with an example so if you are going so you need to remember if you are going to do threading in swift you need to do you need to know about dispatch queues and in dispatch queues you need to know about serial and concurrent queues so let's run this demo project So here you can see a table view. So I have here a table view. So I'm not going to explain about this. And I have your five buttons. So these are so the serial async. That means you are going, you are doing some asynchronous process in a serial queue. So how are you going to do that? So I have created a serial queue. So if you do not define their attributes, then it is default serial. So if, but if you define the attributes, like here, it is concurrent queue. So since it's serial serial queue, whatever tasks you add to the serial queue, it executes in the first order, first come first serve basis. So the first image enters in this, and then it gets downloaded. The second goes, and then it gets downloaded. Third goes, and then it gets downloaded. So let's see this. So this button, so the serial async is associated with this method. So let's press this. Okay. So so let's see whether the our UI is hanging or not. So it is not hanging, and the process is working on. So the process is working on this serial queue. Okay. So one completed downloading. So it executed here in the print print statement. So you can see here. So two completed downloading. So in this way, all the tasks are executed in the same order they are added in the queue. And you need to remember since it's asynchronous process. So it did not wait until this and execute. Okay. So what is the major important of this? So since it did not wait here, our UI did not freeze. You need to understand this main concept here. So if this was a synchronous process, it would have wait until this download has been completed. So since it will freeze here, so in, since it will be waiting here, our UI, our main thread will be 
threads okay so now let's move on to the next one run long sync tags in serial queue so what happens so so what happens in this case so you are creating a serial queue and then you are doing some synchronous process within that serial queue so what happens is it executes in the same order but but it waits until this task has been completed so your main thread is freeze now because it is waiting until this until this background thread has been should be completed so let's see this by pressing this serial sync okay so look here i have not been able to to move to update the ui or to use the ui and you can see here one completed download here. so it will be in the same order you added tags and whenever the download completes and then only you will be able to use this ui or only only then the main thread is updated yeah so the tags completed and then you were able to use this main thread now let's see with this concurrent queue so concurrent queue means uh, the system creates as many as threads for this okay so concurrent queue means many threads are created and the order in which this thread thread access these tags are undefined so the execution of this order is not defined and it may and so the tax may may finish its execution in what in whichever order it wants so let's clear this console and then let's try this concurrent async concurrent means tax are added tax are executed in any order not in the same order they are added in the queue and asynchronous means it does not win it does not wait until this tax is complete so let's press this okay so look at so how fast so it is executing one two three four five it is executing so i have here yeah, the tax that is executing but for the download then look here the one tax was added in the queue second was added in the queue third was executed uh, added and but in the completed order it is very much random why because the there are different threads that are running this tax okay and these threads may may finish their execution in any order so some thread may take long time to download that from the url and some may be fast enough to download and since it's asynchronous process the ui did not get fridge now again let's go with concurrent queue but with synchronous operation so what happens here so as let's let's clear this console command k and then let's press this So as you can see, since it's synchronous process, again our UI is freezing because it is waiting until the task has been until the task completes. So the first completed downloading, then on then only it went to this print line statement. So and since it is concurrent queue. But since it's synchronous, the task seems to be like executed in the as serial queue. But whatever is happening, I I think you you can 
visualize it. The task gets added and since in synchronous it waits here. So another task are another task will not be added. So another thread could not be created here. Yeah. So So let's go with another tutorial. So, since so what we found is with with a synchronous so with a concurrent queue but synchronous operation it freezes the UI. So how are you going to do the operations? That need to be synchronous and that need to be concurrent also. So how you you can do that is you can wrap that inside an asynchronous operation so as this so what happens now is let's clear this console and then try to okay so what happened is your UI is not freezing Look, UI is not freezing and then tags are executed in the same order as they are added since it's synchronous. Okay, yeah. Since it's synchronous inside here, the tax completes as it is added in the queue. But the main point is since you have wrapped this inside an asynchronous block, the UI is not freezing here. So, so let's have a quick recap so with serial with serial queue and with asynchronous so what happens is the tags are executed in the same way they are added into the queue but since it's asynchronous process the UI does not get freeze and it does not wait until the operation completes and so since there are five tags so the threads so first thread is created and then it takes the tags and then it does and then again the second thread comes it does the work and then it goes so it happens like that and with this and since it's synchronous the UI gets freezes because the task never because it waits until this download operation is com should complete so this is the main difference between synchronous and asynchronous and in concurrent queue so many threads are created here actually what means many so many means um, as long as the system can produce thread so if a system has high processor it can create as many as threads and then it can run some parallel operation as, as much as it can but if it were here like 500 operations then maybe the system would create like about 100 or 110 threads and then other tasks would be waiting until that thread would be free so it would act so it can act as a serial as in serial queue in that case if tags are enough or if tags are more so and then with synchronous so in, in synchronous it waits until this tax is completed but but not only a single thread is executing this tax okay guys this much is for today hope you guys got some clear concept on how to create queues and how to use and what are the difference between concurrent and serial queue thank you